Hey YouTube, it's Robbo of Barn in Effect and welcome back to an uh, unboxing and I don't know, can't really call it a review because uh, I'm not going to be reviewing it, I'm just going to show you what it is. So we've got an Inatech, uh 4 extra 3.0 USB ports, if I can get some focus going, come on autofocus, why are you no good, why are you no shine, there we go, right. So basically I want to put an extra 4 ports into my PC which is the Fractal Design R5 Monolith and basically because I've been streaming and playing games adding more peripherals and stuff I'm running out of USB ports so I've got you know one at the top there and I've got a few going off out the back but I'm still not got enough plus I want to upgrade to 3.0 as well, so I'm going to unbox this, show you what's inside the case, where you need to fit it to upgrade to your 3.0. Okay, so out of the box, um, just get the drivers there, little instruction booklet, and some extra SATA cables if you need it, uh, four pin there to SATA, or just an extension if you need it as well. But I don't. Um, I've got enough power, uh, cables coming out of the back, see me SSD there. Um, so I've already took the liberty of extending one of the, uh, the SATA cables out so what we have there is the PCI E generation 2 that's where we're going to be plugging that and just a quick uh, thumb piece there just to take out the bay that we need to take out that comes out nicely for me Right, so that's the bay for the four USBs. So I'll pop that in there into the PCI Gen 2. Let's have a look at the unit itself. Make sure you're all nice and grounded. Okay, so there you go. And get some autofocus going. Again, USB 3.0. So we'll be plugging that in there like that <laughs> plugging that in I'll show you when it's in put a bit of light on so you can see a little bit more easy now the card slots in very easily into the PCIe generation 2 slot there uh, all I need to do now is just put this thumb screw back in uh, just to lock it into place uh, easier said than done when you're right-handed and trying to screw it in with with your left there we go in it goes nicely there we go locate it in there very nicely nice and secure the other thing is as well um, if you want to use anything that is going to be powered by the USB you do need uh, to plug your uh, power into there yeah. right so that is in nicely now uh, it does mess with my cable management a little bit having this extra cable out but you know things that you can't avoid I'm afraid so um, yeah, just notice how dusty my GTX 970 is there as well even though I've got <laughs> filters and everything in this thing so we'll clean it out later so next thing we need to do is power back up put the drivers in okay, and we'll see how we install the drivers all you do is insert the disk into your PC if you've got a driver otherwise you go to the website you click on the colour card depending on which one you put we put the red card in so it then goes to your control setup just click next obviously you've got to accept the agreement find a place where you're going to put it and click install do you want to allow it? of course we do because we're bloody putting it in what do you think we're doing? so I'd like you to do that copy all the new files in there shouldn't have any problems at all um, and once you've basically installed everything you can verify it by going to your control panel device manager and finding it in there the serial bus controllers and basically just make sure everything's working so I'm Rob Obon in fact good luck hope everything goes well cheers